What's good, folks? Welcome back to UKSG Green 2024. I hope everybody's having a good time. Is everybody awake at 7.30 in the morning? Yeah, we are here for Severed Steel. Tech is falling asleep beside me. Um, <laughs> and we are joined by EB. Hello. Take it away. All right, so I am EB, or Explosive Bullets. I've been running this game for about a year and a half. Roughly, um, I hold the current 90% world record and will try to show off this run to the best of my abilities on a setup that I haven't played before. So, hopefully this goes well. Yep. Awesome. Best so of luck. I am ready to start. So, uh, this is played on the old patch, so old leaderboards. Uh, okay, so, game. Uh, as soon as I press play, the game will start. It starts very fast. It's a very fast-paced game, so... I will just be explaining the uh, tech of this game, because if I try to explain a level, I'll be explaining the level that happened four levels ago. So, okay. Right, so, I'm ready, so... Right. As soon as I press play, I will press the timer. So off we go. Let's go! Right! <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so what you're immediately seeing is I am sliding against the wall. Uh, this will generate the most amount of speed, and it's kind of like the um, the main movement tech throughout the entire run. Um, I'll slide against as many walls and like slopes that I can to gain as much speed as possible, so that'll be kick sliding between walls and ceilings and whatnot. Um, so this game is like, uh, combine your movement tech to progress the level as quickly as possible. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, so a lot of things have already gone wrong, but uh, that should be fine. It's all part of the fun of it. <laughs> and so all these levels are passing by really quickly. The objective, so diving is another thing, which I missed. Shoot the objective all the way through the wall, hopefully. Thank you. Objectives, hopefully, oh god. Yeah, so all uh, levels are divided by objectives, kill all levels, and that's pretty much it. There's one boss in the game, which is much later on, around 7 minutes into the run. Kick the shield guy to get the shield out of his hands. Kill this guy, get his weapon. This weapon will be used to kill the remaining enemies. I find this guy with a grenade launcher. Uh, the grenade launcher is really good for uh, clearing out rooms. There's a few levels which you can case this. On the lab, we gotta destroy a few objectives with our pistol. I can aim. Oh Jesus Christ. In events like this, I can just simply restart a level and get fresh ammo. So, uh, as you can see, I'm probably uh, ignoring all the enemies here. Because don't, you don't really need to uh, kill them to progress the level. Alright, so in terms of story, uh, I can't really say much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But, there is the arm cannon here, which we do pick up. And it allows us to tear holes through all the walls. It basically allows us to progress the level way faster. So the arm cannon is very useful for seeing objectives through the walls and shooting them that way. Obviously sliding against walls, progress faster. Uh, so this is a very open map. We have Three pads, which we need to stand on. And like, routing is very important, so I went down to that guy, even though the next pad is all the way up here, uh, because I need to refresh my arm cannon shots, and the only way to do that is through elites, which are these blue guys, one will spawn right here. Uh, he dropped a shotgun, so that is the most powerful and most efficient way to uh, destroy these. But if we run out of ammo, well, here's the worst weapon of the game. This guy. Oh, shoot 
just through the wall. There you go. So the environment is very, very destructive. Let's see here, I just go through all these different walls. Like so. Okay, so the first zip in the entire run. Let's see if I can pull it off. Is the sniper. Does the lag happen? Oh, it doesn't. Fine. That was the zip, and there we go. That's level done. <laughs> ah, pull that off. Okay, let's see if this PC lags. Oh wow, no lag. That, that, that's incredible. My PC just completely breaks down as soon as I shoot those objectives. Because the sniper has a, like a lot of pierce, honestly. Like infinite pierce. Uh, for this objective, it will spawn in later so I can set up and then slide into it. You can't shoot it, but I like to slide into it. Dive over this ledge. Some people like to uh, kick slide over it. And then clear out all the enemies in this room. Where's my favorite guy? Where is he? There he is. Now let's kill everyone. If I can find them. So after a certain amount of enemies have died, they'll all start to highlight. And we can leave a level like that. Intelligence, there is one guy to kill. Before we leave. And there we are, so. Uh, data prison, this is very annoying because you have to climb and then land, so the pressure to kick slides, because how kick slides work in this game is you have two, and then you need to land again before you can use another one. And now we have the data, we can just leave. Server room, there are three objectives, and conveniently you have uh, three arm cannons to shoot them all, so... Well, four objectives, I don't really take note of that one. Okay, let's see if I can execute this dive over the wall. Oh, no, no. <laughs> there we go. So when you dive onto a ledge, you get an incredible amount of speed to um, it's complete the level really quickly. Because all you need to do is get to the end. Okay, very complex level. The guy there. Three guys spawn, or three groups of enemies spawn down here. Get to the grenade launcher. Three enemies spawn here, I'll preemptively shoot. Shoot this guy, pick up his weapon. Oh my god, it's a good weapon. Explosive rounds. And we'll destroy all the enemies. Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> good job of this sniper over here, so I'll shoot this guy through the wall. It's highlighted. Zip here, see if I can pull it off. This saves hardly any time, but I do want to show it off because it's very fun. <laughs> Deck, if you have anything to say while I struggle with this uh, tech, <laughs> I just gotta say that I'm I'm enjoying the soundtrack and just the oh, way yeah. that this game looks. This looks amazing. It's I assume it's a oh. fairly recent release. Uh, it is 2021. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'll just do the backup strat, which is sad. 25 seconds, that's miserable. <laughs> but anyway, you can complete that level in less than 3 seconds. If you actually use it up. It's a very open level, so we'll sneak around on the floor, killing enemies if we slide into them. Release your stress. There's 3 more pads up here. Here. And... As I have a bit of time, you can see on the left side of my screen, I have my in-game time. So, the top two numbers are my speed. So the top number is my total speed. And the number under that is my horizontal speed. And then, under that number, you have an enemy count, which is currently decreasing. Because I am killing enemies. I got that. And the spawns never change, so when enemies spawn in this game, they'll have determined spawns. Uh, but once they've spawned, they can move around and be uh, a nuisance. And after a while, they highlight, so this guy, and shoot the guy through the wall. Okay, let's see if these objectives fly around everywhere. 
Oh, there it goes. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, so these objectives, uh, they like to fly around, which is very annoying on uh, my attempts. Okay. Upper admin. Now these objectives, they are, they are stationary, so if you shoot them, they will uh, go. I ran out of ammo, so I might as well just tie that again. And that's the the really good part about this run is that if something goes wrong, you can just uh, reset the level. Okay. Okay, Portal Lab. This is the one of the longest levels in the entire game, and you gotta memorize pretty much every single spawn location of many. So first four enemies that will spawn are very important. They're up here. So I want to see what kind of weapons they have. I want a weapon with explosive rounds. Oh, there you go. Is this like a mini nuke that's going off? Then I want to go into this portal. There'll be two enemies up here. And there'll be enemies spawning right over there. Grab this guy's weapon. Grab this guy's grenade launcher. He fell down, so he's dying. Uh, you kind of want to make holes everywhere so enemies fall down. See, so yeah, I'm sliding because it's the quickest and most efficient way to move around. Oh man, picking up weapons in this game really needs to improve. Uh, you'd have five weapons on the floor and uh, steal this. can't decide which one to uh, pick up. Yeah, so that's everyone on this level. Now we'll go to this one. Find all the enemies here. Ah, there they all are. And there's the last guy, always a million miles away. Hello. Uh, there's two sniper spawns here. So. I would have used those to clear off the last enemies. Barracks, you can just simply blow a hole through the wall because you have enough farm can shots. Kill this guy, do a charge, and go up here. Since you have free arm cannon shots, you can also just skip using the stairs and just <laughs> go up all the way here. All fail. Okay, since uh oh god. Yeah man. Get up. Get up. Okay, greens, you're given a sniper to all these enemies through the wall, which hopefully happens. It's one of my favorite levels in the entire game. Slowly <laughs> aim towards them. Okay, so this is a very, very tall map, so I do think I'm gonna traverse this map. Steel has no time to uh, traverse some stairs, so she just gotta fly up basically. And then you have your arm cannon shots to blow through the wall. Uh, city, this is uh, quite a big map, but that's fine. Traverse it very efficiently. Pick up the uh, flamethrower, please. Yeah, the flamethrower is a very inconsistent weapon. You'll be, you know, firing at a we firing at an enemy for like 50 seconds and they won't die. Alright, Party Mansion. This is another long level. Now around a minute and a half to two minutes. I think we'll take. So, this is just mindless killing. If you got anything to say, then now would be a great time. 
fab. Yeah, might as well just remind folks yeah. that we have incentives and bid wars open. Um, we are going to be having a Final Fantasy run later on from the very own Mataco, and we get to choose what soundtrack we're going to have. It is either Pixel Remaster soundtrack or the OG soundtrack. We currently don't have anything towards either of those, so you can very easily sway the vote to uh, whatever side you're most interested in. And as well as that, we have got we're almost halfway towards the upgrade to Titan device for the GTA 3 run that we are going to be having this afternoon. So, yep, still things to be met, still a whole lot of money that we can raise for Crisis. Um, we're almost at the two and a half thousand dollar mark, so something that we'd like to see. They need, you know, before we hit the afternoon, that'd be cool to see. But yeah, thank you so much for all your contributions so far. And I mean, this run is great. I'm enjoying this run. Is everybody else enjoying this run? Yeah. There we go. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. So, still some more mindless killing. This is the final fight. So, the last group of enemies that are spawning. As you can see, I'm picking up a lot of weapons because Steel only has uh, one hand and can't reload. That's why I'm picking up a bunch of weapons all the time. More blue guys, or elites to punch a hole through the wall, or the ceiling, or any surface, for that matter. So if, you play, so if you've actually played this game before, I'm not really <laughs> investing much uh, energy into uh, the stunt system or, or anything like that. I'm just going around killing all the enemies. Alright, so the first boss in the entire game, uh, or the only boss in the entire game, can be exploited quite easily. You just have to get pretty lucky. So he, there he is. Uh, he has a health bar at the top. And if you shoot his sniper through the wall, you can skip a lot of a uh, lot of his health. Uh, because, well, you know, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll show it off. Uh, there's another sniper back here, which I'll go for. So, the like a weird thing that was discovered in this game is that the health of the boss can actually be like I don't know, like it's coded very strangely. So if I shoot this guy through the wall, where is he? I can uh, kind of glitch his uh, health, which uh, didn't happen. Anyway, it's, it's kind of uh, an RNG trick, so I'll just destroy this guy the traditional way. But if you shoot a sniper through the wall and it connects with the boss, it, it does a kind of a... Uh, the game does a miscalculation of your damage. And like you, you can potentially skip all his uh, health thresholds because, as you probably saw, he had uh, a shield. Because when he gets health down to a certain amount, uh, he you know spawns a shield, which we can skip if you get a damage glitch. So in runs, you kind of pray that you shoot through a wall randomly and uh, hit the boss, which you can't see through a wall because you don't have wall hacks. And then hopefully that damage will skip all the thresholds for all the shields. So in the previous level I collected three artifacts. Now I just gotta put them in the museum. And now uh, you probably won't be able to tell what's going on in the next five minutes or 30 seconds. Oh nice. This is a really good weapon because the explosion, uh, well, it's AoE damage. You can kill multiple enemies in very short range of each other. Uh, I'll use the arm cannon because you can kill the enemies very efficiently with this. There you go. Okay, garden. And then after this level, well, garden, you can kind of just. Well, the exit is just up here. You have all these enemies down here, but you can just leave. Because, yeah, you can just leave. Uh, estate? Uh, we don't like this building, so we're going to burn it all down. And, yeah, this is just mindless nonsense, so if you have anything else to say, then please do. 
Fab, yeah. well, we've let you know about the different incentives. Um, we've also thanked all the various folks that are helping making this happen. We might as well mention BSG, who are supporting this marathon. They hold bi-monthly gatherings in the Netherlands and have supported UKSG from the beginning by spreading the word and providing us with a channel to stream on in past events, among other things. So mark your calendars because BSG 36 <laughs> is on June the 1st to the 2nd and it will be streamed on the ESA channel. So you can tune in, that's next week. You can uh, watch the best speedrunners of the Benelux as that happens. Those guys are going to fall to death. Okay, the wall. So our arm cannon shots have increased to five, so we can just pierce through the entire wall. Kill this guy to refresh our arm cannon shots. So we don't have enough to go through that wall, so we gotta kill this guy to refresh. Slide over to the other side. Wait until this guy spawns up here. Shoot holes through the walls. Kill this guy that's just standing here. Staring at me. This guy is spawned here. I'll shoot holes through the wall. And kill this guy here. Okay, so on to the second last level of the entire game. You see the progression of all the levels uh, visually there, which is, I find quite nice. So, three pads. Uh, if you complete this R a bit too quickly, then uh, you don't have enough time to have all the enemies to spawn. So, we're actually going to restart the level or restart the checkpoint once we reach the third pad. Then what I'll do is reset all the enemies in the level. Get this weapon because explosive rounds, very efficient to kill all, all the enemies. As I miss a few shots. Uh, when in doubt, just uh, kill these guys with the arm cannon. Okay, so. You have these three objectives, and you're meant to go through this portal, but what you can do is just blow a hole through here and shoot them through the wall with the very, very overpowered sniper. <laughs> now refresh arm cannon shots here to destroy the heart. And we gotta go in this heart for whatever reason, I don't know what kind of motive Steel has. Uh, fresh them again. And then this is going to be the last 60 seconds of the run. It's almost over already. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So a, a bit, a bit overestimate. Not over. Uh, underestimate. Wrong way. Yeah. So we're going to be ending very, very shortly. Kill this guy. Uh, so at the end of the run, there'll be a huge wall that we just... We got infinite armor cannon shots to destroy, so... So there's the wall, over there. One of the giant lock-on. And yeah, go on all these pads, and then the final pad, shoot the wall, and that will be time. Already? Wow. As soon as I hit this, it'll be time. GG! Oh, that's the run! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, first marathon run. So I'd like to give a shout out to the very small but very dedicated Savage Steel community that routed all these levels, including myself. And yeah, I'm so happy I can show this one off at an event, <laughs> my first event. So thank you for having me. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much. That was two <laughs> marathon like debut runners um, and back to back. Yeah. yeah, so that was a solid showing from both of them. Thank you so much, yeah. folks. We are going to be moving on from a game of minutes. recent uh, recent years, and we're going to be throwing it back to mid two thousands. I think um, we are going to be Hi. seeing beautiful Joe after this. So do stay do stay tight. We have got a whole rest of the day to bring. We'll see you around.